Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel. So today we will discuss ophthalmic instruments used in cataract surgery. Now this is called kidney tray. It is a kidney shaped tray. Instruments are placed in it and then they are sterilized in the autoclave or hot air on. Here you can see different uh, surgical instruments uh, like uh, in the above ptosis, antropion and cataract surgical strays. So now this is a small or fine needle holder. You have to hold it like a pen. It has a blunt plates. It grasp needles during suturing corneoscleral wound with 10 0 nylon sutures mainly for corneal tear repair and extra capsular cataract extraction procedures now this is castrovejo straight tipped if the tip is curved it is called barracker curved needle holder now you can clearly see there are no sharp edges of the blades now this is the large needle holder again tip is straight so cast through large needle holder hold it like a pen it is used for squint DCR lead procedures when la when large needle is to hold now here lying on the right are two needle holders and on the left are three scissors so let's pick the largest scissor look at the sharp cutting blades blades can be straight curved or angled here in this conjunctival west cord scissor blades are straight it is used in dcr squint lid and conjunctival procedures so differentiating point from the needle holder is sharp versus blunt blades you can clearly see the cutting blades so now this intermediate size scissor is called corneal scissor you can see the round holes in its handle just like cornea now it is mainly used to cut the cornea during intracapsular as well as extra capsular cataract surgery you have to hold it like a pen it has also got sharp blades now this is the smallest cutting scissor also known as vena scissor it is fine multi-purpose scissor mainly for intracameral use like cutting iris for peripheral iridectomy cutting anterior lens capsule fine suture lamellar corneal tissue harvesting limbal stem cells this is the eyelid speculum its function is to retract the lids and hold the eye open during surgery wire speculum are lightweight transmit little pressure to the eye that's why used in intraocular procedures large full bladed rigid screw speculums are used for strabismus and extraocular surgeries you can see on the left side a large screws speculum is placed now that's called artery forceps hemostat it has serrated edges they are also available in curved as well as straight now, like here it is a straight small size and large size with a lock to stop bleeding especially in lids and dcr surgical procedures you can see how it locks and unlocks now there's the graphy muscle hook or squint hook it is used in the squint surgery to identify and secure the muscle and in cataract surgery to deliver the nucleus by putting positive pressure on the cornea 
by putting pressure on the cornea creating positive pressure inside the eye and delivering the nucleus now that's the wire vectors it is a ring shaped loop used in retrieving and delivering nucleus or subluxated lens preventing it from falling back in the vitreous during complicated cataract surgery with pcr now here are lying two similar and confusing instruments one with the longer tip is called chopper it has micro finger pointed quick chop tip for chopping and dividing the nucleus some choppers have smooth rounded tip as well unlike this chopper so make sure if uh, this instrument is uh, given to you in exams you should be able to identify that it's a chopper and now another one with a sharp with a shorter pointed tip is called dialer it is used in dialing the intraocular lens and inserting the intraocular lens in the bag and in some surgeons like i use it for chopping with phaco as a second instrument now that's a curved plane forcep it is also called macpherson and now the same but larger instruments and you can see that the sharp tips at the end now that's called u trotta or capsular access forcep the difference between the macpherson and the capsular access forcep is that capsular access forcep is larger and it has got pointed curved ends like here in macpherson there are no curved ends so macpherson is used in uh, tying of sutures as well as uh, implanting the intraocular lens utrata is used for capsular access so these two similar instruments uh, in this you can see it is a plain forcep or a suture tire and this has got small tooth so the tooth one is a corneal forcep and the plain one is called a suture tire suture tire as the name indicates is used for suturing especially the corneal wounds and the corneal forcep is used to raise to hold the cornea in suturing now that's the fixation forcep or large tooth forcep to hold the lids the skin the wound in dcr you can see the large tooth large teeth in this one so these were the three instruments uh, that are similar and now the tube this tube like structure is irrigation aspiration cannula it has irrigation and as uh, uh, irrigation line and for aspiration a syringe it is used to irrigate anterior chamber and to aspirate the cortical matter from the eye so that was all about the instruments uh, that are used in cataract surgery their names how they look like and what are their functions i hope you have learned something thank you very